Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I am so excited because I'm having a little bit of a thrifting day today. I have just been really in the mood to want to go to like a really good thrift store and explore some of the clothes and decor options and see if I can find anything to add to my fall wardrobe. There are a lot of trends that I've been wanting to try this season and I'm not really interested in like buying brand new things all the time. I really want to try and buy secondhand as much as possible. So I'm heading off to Savers who are amazingly sponsoring this video, which is kind of crazy because I love Savers, but I'm heading off to Savers and I'm going to see what I can find, see how many of like this fall's trends I can find. Definitely looking for some red. That's kind of like the color of the season I feel like this year. So looking for that, looking for pieces that I can easily like upcycle or DIY with like bows and things and definitely lots of like layering pieces so like sweaters and things like that for the fall winter season. So come along with me. Let's go and do some thrift. do the savers haul because oh my gosh I found so many good things and I'm so excited to share them all with you guys I got a mix of clothes and decor and I'm so excited for all of it this bag is so heavy so I mentioned this at the start of the video but one of the trends that I was really trying to thrift for is the color red I just feel like red is everywhere this season and I've just been wanting to add like a few little pops of red into my wardrobe so the first thing I got was this bag which I am obsessed with I just think it's such a good shape and it gives me like such 90s vibes and I really love it and like the specific shade of red is like such a good shade of red too I am just in love with this bag I think I'm gonna add like some ribbon or something to it I've been really loving that style of like really decorating your bags like getting a really simple bag and then decorating it I just think that's really cool but yeah I am absolutely obsessed with this bag I think it's so cute this is absolutely gonna be like my fall winter staple bag for sure. Then the other red piece is this like short sleeve mock neck top which I think is super cute on its own. Honestly I, I mostly got this for layering like under sweaters and things so I could have a little pop of red underneath but it's also like just super cute like tucked into like a black skirt and it just adds like such a fun pop of red. Another sweater I got is this one which is just like the coolest shade of brown. I really love I don't know is this like chestnut? That's the word that comes to mind but it's so cute. I don't think I'm going to do anything to this because it's just adorable on its own and it has these like cute little bows on it too and it just feels so soft and the quality is amazing and I love a square neckline so I love that element too and I will say that when I shop and this is a shopping tip in general not even just like a thrifting tip but one of the things that I try to do when I'm going into any store is I try to be mindful or at least like have certain things in mind when I'm going into a store and I don't mean like you know have a needle in a haystack situation where you're only looking for one thing because obviously that can often lead to like frustration versus like just being overwhelmed by choice. So for me when I'm shopping I always keep in mind one that my favorite color is pink like this short shade of like pastel pink that is sort of one of the things I'm always looking for. Um, on this trip in particular I was looking for shades of pink and also obviously shades of red and then neutrals. So for me that tends to be what I gravitate towards for my wardrobe and I try to keep that in mind because like honestly sometimes I will buy things in other colors and I never wear them. So yeah just trying to 
be better about that and like having a like personal color just really helps make shopping a lot easier and go a lot smoother and make it a lot less stressful and then other than that I try to like think about textures that I'm looking for and that way I again it's I'm a able to easily and quickly like go through racks and things versus like looking at every single piece individually. With that in mind, I have been looking, I literally almost bought a skirt in this color. I've been looking for like a cool tone brown skirt to add to my wardrobe for this autumn. And then I found this and it is like a midi skirt with a slit in the back and I know that that is like really trendy right now. And so there is part of me that's like, oh, I should just keep it you know, like this, keep it like this length, but I think I want to chop it. I just like, as much as I do like that trend, I just think I, when it, especially for like structured skirts like this, I just like a mini skirt. I just want them to be short. And then I got this super soft white, um, like collared sweater. And honestly, I got it because I just like touched it and I was like, oh, that's so soft. What is that? And it is. It's so soft and nice feeling. And again, I think this will be really cute with like a little mock neck popping out of the collar. And then we've got the pink bit. I've got two pink t-shirts because I can always use a pink t-shirt. This one is more of a cropped shirt. And I just thought it was really cute. And I, again, I think I'll add like a little bow or something to the neckline but it's uh, it's like the perfect shade of pink this one and then I also got this one which is a little bit more pastel and um honestly I just like like the color I might like do a decal or something on the front we'll see maybe I'll just add more bows but yeah I just thought that was really cute lastly I got this little pink uh cropped sweater I get asked all the time about the frames in my bedroom and I get every single one of them from thrift stores the cool thing about savers is that they'll often have like a whole wall of art or a section of picture frames or both and this savers had both which was amazing so I picked up two I first picked up this framed like Van Gogh photo which I thought was super cute so this will definitely both of these will be going on my bedroom wall but yeah, I was really excited about this. And it is the best place to find frames or like ornate paintings, things like that. If you like that style, like please do not buy any of that new, like just go to your local savers. It will be so much better. You will find everything you want. Anyways, got this, super excited about it. I did have one like really big one in my cart, but I just wasn't sure if I'd be able to get it home and I wasn't sure I'd have space for it on my wall. So I left it there for someone else. And then I got this, which is a mirror. And there were a few of these. And this I just thought was so cute. I love the like puffy style of the frame and all the pearls on it and the roses. This is so me. And it's so like coquette, like feminine, cute. I just, yeah, I love it. And there's even like blue ribbons. Ah, it's adorable. I got a couple of dishes. It's like this sort of Victorian, I don't know what time period it's supposed to be, but just this like old timey looking painting on the cover and it's like opalescent on the sides and it's super pretty. And I wanna get like those like plate holders and put up a few of these in my bedroom because I think that'll be really cute. And I got this, which is a little seashell dish with a little rose inside and I love seashells. I have a few like seashell like decor bits already in this room and I was like well what's one more so I got this too and it's so cute so I'm really excited I'm definitely gonna this might go on my bookshelf or something that is my haul now I'm gonna do a little some quick DIYs make these pieces my own and then we'll do some styling I just realized I forgot one of the pieces in my haul and it's this like knit sweater as I was showing my mom and this like big bag of ribbon which I'm super excited for because it's just like so much ribbon and ribbon is so expensive and I fell in love with this specific sweater um that had like basically like a corset like ribbon detailing down the sleeves and a bow and I was like I could DIY that because the original sweater is like $300 or something so I've been wanting to get like some sort of chunky knit like this and to see if I could do it myself so I think that's going to be the first DIY that I do in this video and we're going to see if I can recreate that sweater 
for like five dollars <laughs> instead of 300 so this is the ribbon that i picked out it's this really pretty like peachy shade and i just feel like it goes really nicely with this color of cream so i think what i'm going to do is i found like the middle like the seam of the sleeve and so i'm gonna you know put the the ribbon here and then i'll just crisscross it down until i get to the cuff of the sleeve So here's the sweater all laced up and I think it's just so darling with the ribbons like it's just so me and I do recognize that the original sweater had some ribbon going down the front but I thought it'd be cute to take some of this scrap ribbon and I'm just gonna go right here on these like side pieces and I just go on in and tie some ribbons there and it just like adds a little bit of extra pizzazz. I'm obsessed. I don't know if I should add more. Like, should I do like them all the way down? No, I kind of like it just like right there at the collar. I think that's so cute. And like, it's so precious. <gasps> I love it. This whole thing, $10 versus 300. So I think I won. So the next DIY that I want to do is going to be with this pink t-shirt and some black ribbon that I got in my big ribbon bag and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put like cuts along the neckline and then like have it tie in the front I think that'll be cute I actually have a shirt that I bought that's like that and it's like very much like the edges are raw it's not like sewn or anything it's just like it literally looks like someone just cut it and I'm like and I've been wanting to try and recreate that for a while so I'm gonna do that with this shirt and my scissors. styled I think it's so cute with like this little black lacy skirt I am a huge fan of this I think I'm gonna cut these strings a little bit shorter though I still want them long just not quite this long there we go here's how I would style that top I really love the way that it came out I'm loving it especially with this skirt with like the white lace detailing and then the little ribbon at the collar I think it's so 
cute. I'm actually so happy with this. This was so easy and I think it just came out super adorable. And I, again, I have another top that's very similar to this and it's lasted perfectly fine, but obviously like it'll depend on the fabric of each shirt. But yeah, I'm a huge fan. This is adorable in my opinion. <laughs> And then with this red bag, all I really want to do is add a ribbon to it. I will say there is part of me. There are these bags that are kind of like this shape and they have like painted things on the front, like a croissant. And there is part of me that really wants to paint a croissant on this bag, but I need to practice my painting skills before I um, commit to that because I really like this bag and I don't want to mess it up. But for now, I'm just going to add ribbon. I love adding a little bow or ribbon onto any bag that I'm wearing, whether it's a purse like this or even just like a tote bag. I just feel like it adds exactly that little bit extra oomph that I need. And it's so cute and easy. All right, so I just added a cute little bow onto that and I just feel like it elevates, like just adding a little bit of ribbon onto anything just takes it to the next level, just elevates it a little bit. So my last DIY is this brown skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it. It's gonna be the, I mean, I feel like this is the easiest, but this is gonna be the most straightforward. I'm literally just gonna chop it and I'm totally fine with it having a raw hem. I kind of like that look. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna see how it looks and go from there. So my goal is to cut it along here and then we'll see the length and then we'll cut more if we need to. All right, so it was way too um, long still. So we're gonna chop it again and we're going to hope for the best. This time I actually marked it. So I do want it to be like a real mini skirt. So we're just gonna go for it. Guys, it's perfect. I'm obsessed with it. I cut it so that I can wear it a little bit more low waisted and it'd still be a mini skirt, but like more mid waisted because I'm not fully a low waisted girly, but um, I'm obsessed. Let me show you. The skirt on, I think it's super cute. I love the length. I love where it hits. I will definitely be getting a lot of wear out of this this autumn. It's so cute. And I'm like so proud of the fact that I cut it straight despite not doing really any measuring. I just sort of like eyeballed the whole thing. So good job, me. Is that first sweater styled? I love like a pastel peach and a red moment. So I paired the sweater that I DIY'd with the red turtleneck that I got and then this red skirt that I just had in my wardrobe already and then of course paired it with my red bag and it's so cute I love this outfit and what I love about this in particular like this DIY is that it's so adjustable like I if I wanted I could swap this ribbon out for black ribbon red ribbon blue ribbon whatever I want to like have it match whatever outfit I have and I just feel so cozy and cute like oh this is adorable mm -hmm.